Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. It has been once again a long time since I have uploaded some sort of video. And on top of that, you are all probably wondering where my headlight video is from this winter. And I promise you, I am still working on it. But truth be told, all of the files are on my phone and in order for me to put them onto my computer, I have to download all of them and it takes a couple hours to download. So every time I've started, I've given up. But I promise you, I will eventually get to that. Anyhow, in this video, I just wanted to show all of you some of the updates that I've recently done to the MR2 because it doesn't look exactly the same as it did when I painted my pinch welds a handful of weeks ago, maybe even a couple months ago now. So let's show you some of the updates. So there are five things that have changed on the MRS and we're going to walk through them. The first one is the obvious one. I now have an OEM hardtop. As you can see, it is not painted. It is sanded down to the primer and because of that, I got a fantastic deal on it. Let me share the story with you. So I was on the MR2 Spider Facebook group and a friend of mine in the community, Bridget O'Malley, posted that she was able to find a color matched hardtop in her area, which she's in Australia. And I had made a comment on there saying, congratulations, this is one of the parts that I probably will never be able to own someday because they are just skyrocketing in price. Little did I know, that that comment was going to lead to somebody commenting saying hey Ryan I actually have a spare one not to mention I only live an hour north of you it's unpainted you need the fitting kit but I would like to sell it to you if you want it send me a message what a spare hardtop turns out that he ordered this hardtop back in 2016 it was originally a phantom gray one from from the UK and he used it as his autocross and track hardtop because during the shipment the glass shattered and completely scratched up the roof so he had to fix the glass which he was able to fix using Toyota OEM glass they did the repair and then as a result of that he tried to repaint the hardtop himself it didn't turn out as good as he wanted it to so he just sanded it down to the primer and ordered another hardtop to actually be installed on his car the very next day i drove up and i bought the hardtop off him he's a super nice mrs owner who tracks his car just north of me i thought the hardtop was going to fit in the back of my wife's suv but it didn't and he was nice enough right then and there to drop his plans, throw it in the back of his Tacoma and drive it an hour back to my house. So super awesome guy. He gave me it for half the price, which here in the US, they go for around 3000, give or take. And overall, I'm just uh, super, super, super fortunate to have an OEM hardtop because I know a lot of people wish they could have it and it's not the most easiest part to be able to get. Now the fitting kit here in the US is really expensive. I saw it on a couple dealer sites for around 600, 650. I actually bought it for almost half the price in the UK and it shipped within a week or so. So highly recommend if you do end up buying a hard top here in the US and you need the fitting kit. If you can't find it on Spider Chat or the MR2 Spider Group or something, just purchase from one of the dealers in the UK. They uh, will take care of you. My plan for the hardtop is to have it painted a gloss black. I really like the black on yellow tones or contrasting, I don't know what to call it. I really like the black on yellow from the soft top and the yellow, so I've decided I'm gonna paint it gloss black. Anyhow, the hardtop is the first of the five updates I'm gonna share. The next update is I recently wrapped my A-pillars a gloss black. 
which I've never wrapped before and I'm really hyped on how they turned out. It took a couple tries on the other side, but eventually I got it down and was able to do the whole thing. Now I do have it done in three pieces and you can see my three pieces do overlap. Now I did that mainly because it was the most easiest option, but I learned that in a lot of ways, cars that come with factory wrapped A pillars do it in three pieces and they overlap it like that too. So that made me feel a little bit better about it. Overall, I think that the gloss black A pillars completely changed the look of the car in a really good way. And once the hard top is painted, the whole thing is gonna flow really nice. I'm still debating if I wanna wrap this piece as well, but for the time being, I'm very content with how it's looking. As far as the wrap goes, I went ahead and bought 3M's gloss black wrap. It came with a protectant film on top of it, so I was able to squeegee it and get it in position first, then pull the protective layer off and then tuck the pieces. So definitely recommend 3M wrap if you wanna try this project yourself. Now for the third thing, which is a much kind of smaller, more cosmetic update. I recently updated to the facelift rear bumper plastics because I just think it gives the car a much better look than the pre-facelift ones. I picked them up directly from the Toyota dealership. They were quite pricey, but if you want that look, it's worth every penny. Also, I was able to get collector plates here in Wisconsin because the car is now 20 years old, which is kind of cool. The fourth update is some under bracing. So over the winter, I met up with somebody from Atlanta, Georgia. He drives up to Chicago once a month and he wanted to buy the luggage rack that was installed on my car when I bought it. And so as a thank you, he actually gave me a front lower brace. Now I'm fairly certain it's an eBay branded one, but I was told that any bracing of quality is gonna improve things drastically. So I wanted to go ahead and install that. So far, I have noticed a little bit more additional stiffness in just cornering and whatnot, but I think getting a mid brace and even a rear lower brace to completely just uh, complete the whole bracing aspect of the car is something I wanna do in the future as well. I'm not gonna get a video because obviously I've gotta get it from underneath, but here's a photo just to show you what that looks like. Last but not least, the fifth update which I don't technically have these installed yet, but I recently got both of the heat shields that cover the exhaust manifold powder coated black by my friend Tyler. He powder coated them a Cerakote black that can withstand temperatures up to 1800 degrees. And the reason why I did this is, well, there's two reasons. First, my stock headers are just really gross and rusty and I'm not really interested in getting headers at this point. So I wanted to clean up the engine bay while hiding the old rusty exhaust manifold. And secondly, ever since I removed the heat shields when I did the pre-cats, I've had a rattle at 2200 RPMs and it's driving me crazy. So I'm just gonna put them back on and hope that that also gets rid of the rattle. Right now I'm waiting for the bolts, replacement bolts that I ordered to come in the mail. They should be here sometime within the next week and then I will get them installed. But here's a picture just to show you exactly how they turned out. They turned out amazing. And overall, I think it's just gonna make the engine bay, although stock, just look a little bit better. Other than that, that's pretty much it. The only other update I think I guess I would say is that I recently received an SA2020 approved helmet to start doing some autocross. My first event that I'm planning on attending will be in August. I will set the GoPro up so you guys can see how terrible I am at it. Overall, I'm really excited to start, you know, racing this car a little bit and start driving it more than I can drive it on the road. I think that it's going to just handle so well and I'm going to absolutely fall in love with autocross. So super excited for that. Anyhow, that's it on the updates for the MRS. Anyhow, thanks for checking out the video. Subscribe if you're interested in seeing more MRS type videos. I definitely am not trying to become this big YouTuber, but I do enjoy documenting and making videos. So feel free to follow along. Otherwise, we'll see you guys later.